and he'll realize it as soon as he plays. I mean, here's the thing. Ryu has a lot of good zoning tools, and with the down smash and the, the top two buff, he can equally, like, get as early kills as Ken, even not earlier. Yeah. Ken has, like, more, like, percent combos and more mix-ups, but Ryu will just straight up kill you faster. Ah, dude, the, the pure damage output from Ken is still monstrous, and I'm pretty sure <coughs> as soon as if, if Nato loses this matchup, he's going to switch to Ken. Because this matchup is it, it's still really strong, but it's gonna be a really it's gonna be really difficult trying to deal with it. Especially with uh, not really finding a really good way to get in. Wolf kinda doesn't really need to respect the like the fire Duke as much as much, many other characters. The like the pure distress from from uh, from Wolf, they kinda don't really respect really much anything. And this tech is gonna take up the stock. I mean, Wolf has a really good edge guarding tool with Nair. And ooh, that was a really bold forward smash right there. And that got punished super hard with the FB. Oh, reverse it not too, but it was the good but... Alright. Just coming in with an aggressive guy. We're gonna work out there. Yeah, Canine's doing really well in this match. I feel like. Nito just hasn't been able to find his kill options just because K9 just keeps on putting him at disadvantage. You know, going for the edge guard, going for the equally you know, hard board smash punish. You know, Wolf is not one to like struggle killing. Yeah, oh man, actually got him with the. Try to go for the medium Tatsu into. I mean, the medium down into the Tatsu. And that's the other reason why he said that he thinks Reels is better because heavy down tilt now true combos into the, uh, the Tatsu and the Tatsu kills. But it's like, it's still hard to get that. And I mean, like, it's not that hard, but like, it's like, you have to be like this. I mean, you have to get a, you have to get a down tilt, which you can combo light down tilt to heavy down tilt, and light down tilt comes out like frame like three or four. Yeah, it comes out. Yeah. But it's still, I, I still don't see it. And I, I, I feel like it's going to be, a, it's as good, it, I feel like they're as good as each other. I guess they're good for different reasons. Oh, yeah. But I don't think one's strictly better than the other. I mean... Anymore. Right. Both characters, they feel about the same in terms of, like, how well each one of them, each one of them can do at their their potential. It's just, what kind of play style? Do you want the, I want to win neutral, like, three or four times and then kill you? Or do I just want to bully you into submission? Yeah. But as I said before, Gonna go straight to Ken. <laughs> right. I mean, Ken has definitely been known to have the more intense shield pressure. Being slightly faster means that he can also pressure quicker. So when you're going up against Wolf, who has really good aerial drift, like you might need that extra speed just to catch up to him. Oh man. Yeah, that's the free pressure I was talking about. And the air dodge, you know, you just extend the combo. Be like, okay, I'll take it. I'll do it again. Yeah, I'll do it. Bet. Kick. Oh, there's an air. Not gonna, not gonna do much the animal stage. And like it's kind of, I feel like Ken kind of counters like Kanan's pure style. It's like he wants to wait, he wants to find a way to punish you, and then he finds his opportunity, gets his grab, or gets his attack in. Because Kanan's a very reactionary player. And more than that, I feel like Kanan's a very aggressive player too. Meaning that if Nito is playing his game of being aggressive, no, Kanan. That means, by extension, K9's not playing this game. Yeah. Now there's the four you can actually getting the second and third hit instead of the first one. I mean, just going for a raw right there, just calling out the landing option. And yet again, calling out the jump. I mean, I feel like Nito is just doing so well, you know, calling out all of K9's you know, offensive and defensive plays. Yeah. Plus help, too. Is that he, he never used to do those raw tatsus before. Now he's throwing them out like butter. Those tatsus are a lot safer now just because it can beat a lot of projectiles. You know, K9 can't just throw out a laser and just stop the tatsu in the middle of its tracks anymore. Yeah, the feet are invincible for some god forsaken reason. Those I feel like it, it's invincible because in their base games it was invincible. Yeah, well they're like projectile invincible. Right. But like you could, you could actually beat them with like other moves. Uh, 
getting with a down throw into uh, a down throw death attack. Getting a little bit of damage in. Waiting him out. Ooh. I like the cancel right there to avoid the grab, but not gets the punish on the you know, trying to punish his options. And that's a really scary thing about Tatsu is that Dead. you're not sure how long it's going to last. It's because you have the light, medium, and heavy versions, so they all end at different timings. So if you do the light version, it has almost like zero end lag. Yeah. And actually, you know, nearly all of them have the zero end lag. And like, they, they cross shield, they cross up shield too. And each one hits, at least with Ken, they hit different times too. Yeah, like, Ryu's only hits once. If you shield the first one, then the other ones won't hurt you. Ken's are, is a multi hit, and it'll hit you like six times. Ooh, nice, uh, barely got himself back on the stage. Kane, I get it with a great forward smash. I don't know why he just decided to air dodge in. Ooh, that's a really bad option right there. Ooh, and then just all the up tilts, just catching his landing option. Going for the fair man just to catch it. Gets it. No, doesn't manage to extend the combo because of the Tatsu. Yep. So that's death. Yep. That's death. Jab, jab, crescent kick, roundhouse. Oof. <coughs> just got him. Just hitting him over and over again. And that's kind of like the. That's going to be such a difficult thing for Kanan to get around. Because you can't really shield it. You have to respect it. And you know, Vito's not even doing the new ones, the new versions. Oh, right? the down smash variants? Yeah. Oh. I feel like the down smash variants don't really work with Ken. Oh, no, they, they work better with Ken. I've seen them work. I've seen more combos than with Ryu. So it might just be the, the amount of stuff I've seen. Yeah, because like you can do up tilt, uh, down smash, cancel down smash with the crescent kick, auto shield break. Does it really break? Yes. It breaks a full shield. It's kind of disgusting. God, imagine if they didn't decrease the power on it. Oh, yeah. Well, they increased it. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Oh, but yeah. they, they decreased the shield pressure so that yeah. they could exactly prevent that situation from happening. Oh, no. I thought they did that to stop you from uh, getting people with uh, shield pokes. Like, they didn't oh, no, really... no, no, no. So they buff, they buff shields in general, right? Yeah. But... For Ryu and Ken's down smash, they also decrease the amount of shield uh, damage it does. You only got him with one hit to die for that. That's kind of, actually, yeah, I didn't. There was no way he should have died for that one. Oh. Actually, he could have got a. If he got a crescent kick, he would have got more damage off that. Ooh, nice forward smash. K9 getting off stage with him. It's one of those things where if, when you play Shoto and you have your bread and butters like memorized, it's kind of hard to adapt to the fly of extending new combos with them. And it, this is a day in the patch. Literally a day in. This is day two. He's off stage. Can't really do much about it. He needs to. K9 needs to go for the four shots on the. the, the team. A uh, nice job catching the landing right there with the back air. Yeah. I don't really see K9 do that as much as like Charlie or Larry. <coughs> Even though it's so ridiculous to get up. Up beat, not gonna be able to quite take it, just not enough rage on the move yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, up smash got the sour spot because it's a weird hit. Right. Yeah. Oh, that should be death, yeah. Crown house. It, it, he hit him with like three down tilts, is basically like thinking which one should I kill him with today. Like he's had enough hit stun where it's like, eh, one, two, do I wanna go for forward smash, do I wanna go for roundhouse, or do I wanna go for sure you? A little in, can't really finish it off though. Oh, a little, getting, getting a little too uh, Ryu for my taste. Off stage, can't really get him. Oh, oh wait, that was ambitious. I, I like the attempt though. Yeah. It was a really good attempt just because if he had managed to hit it, Ken might have been dead. Uh, he put him in a tech situation. It would, I, I feel like it would depend on which way he got sent. Yeah. But like, I, I was pretty sure like Nito was like super interested. Right. Oh, dead. Yep, there's the other piece. Got him with uh, that light forward tilt. You know what, Shoto's, they're terrifying. They're, they're just terrifying because every time you get hit by one of their like fast moves, those fast moves lead into strong moves and those strong moves kill. 
super early. They do kill way too early. Honestly. But honestly, but now we're going to Lucina. Right. And that's a very honorable switch for K9. I oh, would yeah. do it too. I mean, he tried playing the closest CQC with Wolf. And with Lucina, you're just like, okay, I had enough getting punished and taking 60 off of one missed space aerial. So I'm going to play a 40. And, you know, if I miss space, at least I'm not eating 60. Yeah, and uh, another thing is like he doesn't really need to respect the space. I mean, uh, Ken has to respect the space a lot more than uh, Ryu would. I mean, yeah, than Ryu would in this matchup. Also, having that up B out of shield makes it a really... Oh, oh no, no, he thought he needed to tuck it. Yep. That's, uh, <coughs> that's matchup knowledge right there. You're never really... Good. I don't think you're actually ever going to need to tuck that top two. There's the dare, but sometimes you just, you get hit, you instinctively press the R button. All right. And in this game, that means death. Off state, hey. stuck in the corner, but really, oh, there's a down, a dare. And you know what, that first hit of bear set him up for the up air on the landing, but unfortunately, tried going for it again, just not gonna get there in time, and gets hit with the level two focus. Yeah, well, that was ambitious. I don't know why he threw that, that third one. I mean, that third one was probably just like, okay, he's been going aggressive, maybe he'll hit. Yeah. And, you know, he was already at such high percent where it's like, if I die, then I'm still a stock ahead. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, that was some disrespect. All right, there's the top two. That was a nice Man. reactive play from him. Jeez, so much damage. Just because he landed top two. I feel like that was going to be... <laughs> I would have got hit by that. Honestly, that, that, new, that would throw me off so hard. Dude, down smash cancel into raw shore you. Yeah. Ugh. That's that's illegal, honestly. Ooh, up smash gonna catch the drop of shield right there. And you know, K9 really has to make some big plays. He needs to find a stop. Does it right down. there with the roll. And you know what? If he can get a solid edge guard. Oh, he's dead. He, oh, hey, he didn't yep. even get prox jab. Yep. That was Crescent Kick. You know, it's ridiculous how both Crescent Kick and Roundhouse both kill. Yeah. And they, they each one sends them up to a different DI. You know, if, they, if he Crescent Kick, then you're going to be sent out, and so you need a DI in. And if he Roundhouse, it's going to send you up, so you need a DI out. Yeah, that was disgusting. Wait, was, was that a Crescent Kick or was that Miss Proc Tab? Was that a Crescent Kick or Miss Proc Tab? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That was, no, I, I saw that. If you landed that, I was going to be disgusted. I would have left. I would have gotten All home. Right.